It's Tuesday night and we're making chicken pot pie. Even though I have a headache, I want it fresh, as fresh and homemade as I can. I do semi-homemade. So you want these pie crusts by Pillsbury. They come in a pack of two and you need two because you have a base and then you have a cover. And I have this awesome casserole dish that I've been wanting to try. So you have to do some pre-work here. So the pre-work I did was cut and cook chicken. The Brussels sprouts are a side dish. You need some kind of cream of soup. You can do cream of chicken, but I think that's too much chicken. There's cream of broccoli. We're doing cream of mushroom because it has roasted garlic, so you get a little added bonus there. In the drainer is zucchini, red pepper, cooked carrots, and cooked broccoli. The zucchini and the red pepper are raw. And what we're gonna do is put the chicken the soup and the vegetable medley in the pie and then I'm going to cover it with the other pie crust and we're at 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes until golden brown. But keep in mind the chicken is fully cooked. Do not put raw chicken in your chicken pot pie or anytime you're making a meat pie. Meat must be cooked first. Thank you and I'll show them how it looks. Wait, wait, wait. This is how the pot pie looks. I overdid it on the carrots, so word to the wise. <laughs> Careful of how many vegetables you're using for the container size you're using. Keep in mind there's chicken under here. There's milk mixed into the soup. Some of that organic milk. And now we're going to cover it with the remaining pie shell. I went ahead and covered the chicken pot pie with the second Pillsbury pie crust. It's a pack of two, which is what I was trying to say at the beginning of this clip. It's a pack of two. Um, you know, some pies are a bottom crust, not a chicken pot pie. It's generally um, two layers. These slits, I don't think the recipe said you had to do that, but I don't want my pie to explode. I need some air vents, so we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven and check on it in 20 to 30 minutes. Here's the finished product and we're about to cut into it. What we did was we put it on for exactly 20 minutes, checked, again it's fully cooked, what you're checking for is do you like the texture and the color of the crust. You could definitely go darker than this, I think we're just kind of like, you know, it's 9, 10 p.m., let's go, and you already have a nice browning starting, so I don't want it to burn. So we did five minutes, checked on it again, five minutes. So we actually did equal the 30 minutes, and this is the result. I think the slits really help because you can see nothing actually seeped out. It just lets some air out. We're going to go ahead and cut into it. We went ahead and cut into it just to give you guys a sneak preview. Um, that's the soup and the milk, the veggies, and the chicken. So we are pretty proud of how it came out. It looks definitely better than any frozen chicken pot pie you're going to get. It's Thursday, my day off, and here's a suitcase. Kipling, there's actually a monkey in here. A Kipling monkey, it's so cute. But I keep him in there so that he stays clean. So bye, monkey. I'm not going somewhere unless you count the laundry room, but this is really heavy, and this is how much laundry I'm doing, plus my delicates bag. And the time is... Oops, that's not the time. The time is... 1.37, March 23rd. So, I've been awake a while. I've just been relaxing. So, it's dinner time for most people, but lunch time for me. I finally finished my laundry. I'm gonna find some food. Definitely worth the wait. So it's Friday and you know when I have this haggard appearance that means I worked how long? 9 to... Well, it's 7.28 p.m. right now, but I just went to Whole Foods, but that took all of like 15 minutes, so 
I really stayed the entire day. Um, I didn't have too many surprises that held me up, but a lot of paperwork. So I'll show you what I got at Fairway. Or excuse me, Whole Foods. Oops. So my eyes played tricks on me because I read Fairway, but I know I got it at Whole Foods. So here's my grape Whole Foods if you're listening. I wanted my soap. And I had to get a different soap, which I've tried, so I know it's decent. This Jason, or I think it's secretly, um, how's it go? July, August, September, October, November. I think that's what it really stands for, Jason. But I tried this, but I had to get it out of price because my normal soap, Dr. Brommers, is $16.99 at Whole Foods. 10 to 11.99 at Fairway. So explain me that the same size, the price difference. So you know we always get these Applegate sausages, but I'm getting the patty. It's so the same thing, but I'm like, I need a different flavor, but I don't want the other flavor, so I get a different shape. More of the store brand organic cream cheese and these um Vermont bread multigrain English muffins. They're organic, so they have a short shelf life, so you gotta eat them right away. Today is Sunday. I'm headed to Long Island first on the train, then my husband's actually gonna meet me, but I had to go ahead, so I'm coaching first, and we're going down the subway. We are bowling and um, my bowling ball is too small so I can't find a medium. So I'm blaming that for my scores right now. I went far and wide, I found a medium ball and my score is already improved so that proves you need the right ball. So my fingers get stuck in the small and then thinking about your fingers getting stuck, you lose focus on the pin so. I go by Paris, check out my score, 120! And the bottom score, yeah, it has a bunch, but 120 for me is good. I want to wrap up today's vlog with a couple things, or a few things I picked up at Fairway. Um, just to introduce this, if you've seen my yogurts before, it seems like you can get the Wallaby Organic Greek Whole Milk not at Whole Foods, but Whole Foods must have the exclusive ownership of the one without added sugar, which is crazy. Why is it so hard to find things without added sugar? It's like you're living in Crazyville sometimes, I swear. So I got one with sugar in it, cherry. I got brown cow, peach got added sugar too I don't understand why why add sugar you already adding peach and meat and all these other things they just add ingredients for price I know that's what it is so said my piece fresh spinach tortellini this is for tomorrow we've eaten really enough today so <laughs> I'm preparing for tomorrow it's my late day I was so disappointed. I had to get non-organic, and I am going to transfer this to an Earthwise bag. Why don't I do it as I say it? Earthwise. Earthwise. Can you see? Earthwise. Reusable. Plastic. So bad for you, so bad for the environment, especially bad for males, but it's bad for the world. I mean, forget it. I, I can't wait to the day that you can't find these, but plastic only seems to be getting more and more prevalent, so... Bring your own when you remember. At least I do it at home and I'll use these as garbage bags. So I had to buy non-organic pepper because the organic peppers look like they actually died and they were still selling them. It made me cringe. So not organic. This is one of the shampoos I use. Just read out of shampoo. Nature's Gate shampoo, vegan, non-GMO. This is their biotin line, but they have they have so many colors. Um, Biotin, I have the Awa Pui conditioner. I like to mix and match so your hair gets different things. So it's really nice. It's so much more expensive at Whole Foods. So I have to go to Fairway for this and I have to go to Fairway for that soap that I wanted when I ran out of the other soap I bought. We got a pound 
So 979. What was the cost? 0.98. No. It weighs 0 0.98. The unit price is 999, so that's why it's slightly under 999. Fresh catfish fillet for the tortellini and the pepper and the zucchini with the parmesan. I mean, I'm calling it Parmesan, but it's Pecorino Romano. Sorry, I wish I knew the difference. I guess it's where it's from. Um, this tends to, like, go bad before you're done with it. I wanted to get the solid brick like I had before cheese. But um, those go bad, too. So you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever is cheaper that day. Um, they think this is all I bought. Zucchini, cheese, fish, shampoo, pasta, yogurt, and peppers. Hey, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button. If you're not already, please subscribe. I make daily vlogs daily. I'll see you tomorrow.